What's up, my fellow YouTubians? Uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed uh, those little uh, time lapse videos. Just like I said, still having some fun with the, uh, the editing software. But we're on top of the bus, as you can tell. I'm here with Matt. We are um, gonna be tackling some of these bus seats today, enjoying this beautiful weather. Oh my God. It's so nice. And the view, look at this. I still am getting used to this. There's the, there's Mr. Sandman right back there chilling. But anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching another episode. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Oh, there it is. I see it. <laughs> Got the bus, baby. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna top this, nothing like we've ever seen. All right, so we're in Lola. We got to take out the seats. So what we're gonna use is the uh, the half inch socket on this uh, impact here. Hopefully, impact lasts. But uh, fortunately, hey Pronto, uh, it's not just a uh, a bolt in there, <laughs> Pronto. So we gotta get these out, but uh, it's got a nut on the other end. So this is gonna be fun. So while I'm up here working on these. I'm down here holding these. So while we've got the bottom bolts uh, soaking in some like penetrating oil, um, we're doing some work, you know, we're basically letting the bottom side of these ones soak just so they can loosen up a little bit. Uh, we're getting these side unbolted. Um, which is not very easy either, but it is coming up pretty well. So we're about maybe uh, almost halfway through with uh, getting the sides up. What's up, girls? Pronto wants in so bad. Hey girls, come here, come here. Oh my goodness, oh. Okay, back to the bus. All right, good morning. So, it's the next day. Um, Matt had to go back home to the real world. Um, we made some progress, we got a lot of the bolts out, but not a lot of the seats. Um, the trying to un, uh, um, loosen up the bolts from the bottom of the bus just is not happening just because there's so much rust and corrosion and everything from underneath the bus um, so i went to our local uh, tractor supply picked this bad boy up um, we're just going to get cutting uh, we're basically just going to shave the top of the bolts off um, pull the seats out and then hammer the uh, the bolts through the bottom uh, or you know hammer them down through the bottom of the bus so um, we're gonna get to work and we're gonna get these bad boys out. All right, so sometimes you need to do things the wrong way first in order to appreciate the right way. Um, obviously, Matt and I were trying to do it the wrong way. Um, it took us, you know, like two hours to get two seats out. Obviously, we were doing some other stuff in the meantime, but um, I grabbed the angle grinder and got all the rest of the 18 seats that were left over out 
and about the same time it's about like two and a half hours um, you know there's four bolts per seat so four times 18 is 60 72 I think that's right 72 yeah um, so you know and it, it like I said 72 bolt heads uh, cut off on the same blade in like two and a half hours so if anybody else doing a uh, bus conversion if you're having trouble um, with the uh, you know getting under the bus and unbolting it um, just just forget it and cut them off it's so much easier but anyway look at it just gonna grab or take these uh, little you know divider things up um, and then we're gonna be done for the day all right So we got it, everything swept up. Um, really the only thing left that we have to do is uh, right on these little bolts where, you know, I cut the heads off. Um, there's almost every spot still has them in there. So it's very easy. All I do, I have a, a longer bolt from um, earlier on in uh, taking the seats out that's still intact. Basically just, you know, kind of set it up there, hit it with a hammer, they fall out. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because it's raining outside and I want to put a tarp underneath uh, to catch them all um, because I don't want uh, to find them later on when I'm mowing the lawn um, and shooting uh, bolts everywhere. So, uh, But anyway, we got the two little barriers up or, or out um, and just going to clean this last bit up. But that pretty much finishes the seats. That was a big step. I'm glad it's over. Okay guys, well that about wraps it up for episode 4. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely did after I uh, figured out how to get the bus seats out. Um, <laughs> it was um, a little disheartening, um, you know, when you have your mindset on something and it's just not going your way. You know, it's a lot harder than you imagined. Um, but it just goes to show you, just kind of stick with it. Um, so we got them all out. Um, it was really cool to see what the bus looks like with everything out of it. Um, you can actually picture it, you know, really for the first time, like where things are gonna go. I'm kinda, you know, starting to measure it and I'm basically gonna take like probably some painter's tape and just uh, put down, you know, on the floor where like here's the bed, here's the closet, here's the bathroom, you know, just to kinda see the, the rough layout. Um, but uh, big thanks to Matt again for coming up. Uh, you guys, I'm sure we'll see him lots of times. Um, he loves it up here too, so he'll be up here quite often to help out. Um, one uh, one big thing for news too, if you've noticed, the profile picture on my YouTube channel um, is our official logo. So Lola the Beer Bus has its own logo, and we got stickers. Um, stickers are just something kind of fun that I've been working on. I'm um, just looking at um, a couple different designs, but it'll be kind of cool just to kind of hand them out, get the name out there. Um, again, um, if you could help me, you know, obviously getting the name out there, that's kind of the biggest thing. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and, um, and that, you know, again, that would really help me out. Uh, I'll link the Patreon page again in the description below. Again, Patreon, if you are not familiar with it, uh, that's basically where if you like the content on the channel or if you, um, you know, want to support me or support the bus or, or whatnot, um, that's basically where you can set up a donation. Um, again, you don't have to. It's definitely optional. Uh, but, you know, there's different tiers, different amounts that you can do. Even a dollar, like I said, goes a long way. Um, so definitely take a look at that. Anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. All right, so let me find the camera first because I'm looking over. It's me going like yeah. this. Hi. <laughs>